Grandpa? What have I gotten myself into now? I thought I was helping, but... But all I've done is made things worse. I've only helped Winfrieda with whatever wicked plans she has, and now... Ben is gone and I... I don't know where they've taken him. Now I... I can't save you anymore, Grandpa. <laughs> I should have been more careful, like you said. I should have listened. I... I... <laughs> I'm sorry, Grandpa. Grandpa? Winfrieda? Anna? Anna, is that you? Huh? I yes I'm Anna. How did you... Who's there? Oh my, you poor, poor girl. Oh, then it really is happening. Winfrieda must have already tricked the king. Which can only mean... Hey, old man. Quit your yapping. Winfrieda? But how do you know all of this? Who are you? Anna, listen to me. You must be strong. I know things look dire, but there is still hope. I know all about you, my dear. You, your grandpa, Winfrieda. You see, I am... I said shut it! I'm warning you! But mister, I'm trapped in a prison. What can I possibly do now? What, what you've always done, my dear. Persevere. Find me. Whatever it takes. I have to tell you, you need to know that... Jeez, what part of shut it don't you get, huh? One more word out of you. Please. Hurry! Well... Oh, okay. I'll do it. I'll come find you. Somehow. He's just going to get in trouble with his guard again. I better not. This seems to connect through to the prison cell next to me. A good old, dirty, dungeon-grade mattress. Who knows what bugs are in it? A good old, dirty, that spring... Some kind of grate for fresh air, I guess? Doesn't look very wide. Not much of an escape route. They sure do give the place a kind of dungeon feeling, don't they? Back behind a locked door, huh? I seem to be making quite a habit out of this. He doesn't seem particularly pleased. Um, excuse me, sir? Huh? You say something? Okay, listen. As bizarre as this may sound, Winfrieda is an evil witch. She's got something evil planned and you have to stop her. Winfrieda? Who's Winfrieda? Look, save your breath, all right? I've heard it all before. The woman who had me arrested. The guards, they took orders from her. You have to listen to me. I don't have to do nothing for you. I do enough already in this stinking place as it is. Is there any way to visit other prisoners? No. But don't we get to have meals together or something? No. Yard time, dodgeball. Board games night? Anything? No! Jeez! Do you even know where you are? You're in maximum confinement. Don't make this any harder on yourself than it needs to be, yeah? You ain't getting nothing like that. Not ever. Maximum? But I don't even know what I did wrong. Kid, not just anyone gets thrown in this cell, all right? Someone out there is seriously spooked by you. Over time shifts for some child. Ridiculous. I thought things were bad enough before. You don't seem to enjoy this job much, huh? An overworked, no bonus, zero health insurance position below minimum wage and a practically non-existent union? It's the best! Jeez, kid. Give me a break already. Well, why don't you quit? 
You look really tired. I think you should quit. Nice try. But you'll have to do better than that. I need the pay, little as it may be. And besides, in this place, you need a form just to get a form to apply for a form of complaint. And don't even get me started on the so-called union. Postponing meetings again and again until they never take place. Easier to put up and shut up. In fact, I highly recommend it. Have you seen a bear, prisoner? Did anyone come in here after me? What? No. Oh, well, there are those three in the cages, but they came in before you. Three? Oh, can I see them? No, no visitors. Now get back. Uh, never mind. Huh? It should be close. It was forward twice, then head south. Left, right, left, then... All oh, right, and here we are. Hello again, my dear. Reynard, my gosh. Keep your voice down. You'll get taken away, too. Oh, pish posh. I know of this fellow here, and he's as deaf as a doorknob. And even if he weren't, He's certainly not the type to go above and beyond his duties, if you follow. Oh, I see. Oh, but Reynard, where do I start? You came all this way? For me? Well, I'm afraid I can't offer much in the way of brute egress. However, it is true. I have indeed come to offer my assistance in this dire situation. Though, how, I'm not quite sure. Oh, Reynard, thank you. Even if, even if I'm stuck here forever, I appreciate that you came. M my dear, to have your usual high spirits so down. Come now, let's not have the selfish behaviors of the wicked break that youthful, bright spirit of yours. Wait, you know this guard? But how? Unfortunately, him and his hellish bureaucratic nightmare of an institution. Believe you me, though, it is indeed escapable, albeit with a little wit. The, uh, gentleman who runs this establishment, well, the key is to appeal to his devilish side, so to speak. Reach him, and you will find the red tape he poses can always be cut through with a sharp mind, you see. Uh, not really. But if you've gotten out before, then, then that means at least it's doable. I think the guard wants to quit, Reynard, but I'm not doing a very good job convincing him. Indeed. In removing the guard, you would have free reign in escaping the cell. Clever girl. Yeah, but... Well, he said something about union meetings, whatever that is. Ah, indeed. Leave it with me. I have just the thing in mind for this. Back in a tick, my dear. But, huh? Where's he gone to now? And what is a union, anyway? And why has Raynar come all this way to help me? Attention all union members, an emergency action seminar will commence shortly in the staff hall. I repeat, all union members report to the staff hall. Please prepare issues for discussion prior to seminar commencement. Well, it's about time too. I'll give them issues for discussion, all right? I should have listened to Grandpa. The world really is full of evils outside the farm. Everyone... Everyone lies and uses people, and, and, and maybe Reynard is just going to use me too. My, my, haven't we grown into a rather skeptical young lady, hmm? Oh, well, no, I mean, I'm sorry, that was rude of me. You're only trying to help, and, and I just... Never mind, dear, never mind. We shall return to the task at hand, shall we? Yes, yes, of course. But what was that about? There's no meeting in truth. 
though I imagine it will take some time for it to catch on. Resourcefulness, as you may recall my saying so. Well, that's one step closer to escape, then. Better push on, then, I suppose. With that enthusiastic gesture, I resign to somewhere more hidden, as it befits me. If you find a means for my assistance, call my name here. I shan't be far, my dear. Ah, uh, Reynard? Are you there? Good evening, my dear. You called? Do you know what happened to Ben? I uh, no. That I'm afraid I do not. I followed the guards who brought you here, but as for him... It's... it's okay. I'm going to keep looking around then. See if I can find something to help me out of here. Very well, my dear. If you find a means for my assistance... That doesn't look like it's been cleaned since... since never. Mm. Hmm. Seems this door's a bit more sturdier than the ones I've broken before. Small, pointy bit of metal. Not sure what good it will do me. Mm. Well, I have no idea what a lockpick looks like, but this might do the trick. Lockpicking can't be all that hard, right? I am fast becoming the master of door opening. That is, if this plan works. Oh yeah, maybe I could pick the lock on the door. Aha, freedom. From my cell. Oh, well, there you go. So much for maximum security. Now, let's see how I go getting out of this dungeon altogether.